Let's see if we're all ready. Vincent, you ready? Almost. He's there. He's getting there. Class! Yes. Thank you. All right. So, again, at least pretend like you want to be here because that makes me happy. Now, approximate the derivative of a function by defined by a table. So, now, let's go back to my super basic definition of this. What is a derivative going to give me? The slope. So if we're going to approximate, all we need to do is actually start finding the slope in between certain places. Right? So we're going to find the slope in between there. Table below lists several values right here that is continuous on the interval from 0 to 4. Approximate derivative at that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start here. So from here, I'm going to find the slope in between 1 and 2. So that would be 12 minus 3 over 2 minus 1, which is going to give me 9. Yes? Okay. So the slope in between these two points right here is going to be 9. Next one, I'm going to do the same thing, but now for 2 and 3. So 33 minus 12, sorry, 3 minus 2, which is going to give me 11, right? Mm -hmm. Is it 11? 21. 21! Thank you. See? Checking to see if anyone's still awake, because I'm not. Yeah, there we go. There we go, 21. Big difference right there, right? So somewhere in between those two, like my slope at two has to be between there, right? So what what do you think is happening in between this slope and this slope? It's going up a lot, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this and this. That's gonna give me 30 over two, which is going to approximate slope at 15. So if you notice, going from one to two, it's nine. Going from two to three, it's 21. So my slope should be going up, right? <clears throat> it should be somewhere between those two things. And by approximating the secant line, my two points in, on the other side, so it's gonna give me a point like that, so therefore my slope should be 15 in between the two points there. So, by checking both of these first before jumping to this, that's actually key, because a lot of the things that you're gonna have on tests and questions, you need to know what the slopes are on either side of a point to know if it should be going down. Sometimes it changes direction. So, that's always good to have. So we approximated it there. Is that pretty easy now? So I didn't want to try and cram everything in your head yesterday since, you know, it's kind of difficult. We have enough going on. Christian, you good? All right. Now that we're done, like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification button, support my channel.